It's the end of a long day here at uh, Valencia in Spain. We've been testing the Panigale V4, of course. Um, massive day. Done a mile of sessions on the bike, but first thoughts are this thing is a definite winner. It's a, it's a brute of a bike, put that in. It's a mile of horsepower. It's got a heap of grunts, usable everywhere. A couple of times out there on track, I left it up a gear out of some of the tight corners. Just pulls out of the corners beautifully. It seems to be this wonderful combination of a V-twin and a V4. Sounds like a V-twin, revs like a V4. Handling is what you would expect with this bike with the amount of MotoGP tech in, in it. But still, the big story with this bike is the electronics. There's so many things you can change and alter on this bike. I've been playing with them all today. My mind is still digesting all the information. For a proper track rider who's looking for a bike to impress themselves, this will also deliver. When you put it in race mode, it just absolutely goes like the clappers. Everything's loosened off. The back end can move around. You can have the ABS on the front wheel only. You can let the back step out. It does so many things, this bike. Everyone's been talking about how much power it's got, but that's not the story. The story of this bike is definitely the electronics and just how easy it is to ride. But you twist that throttle and suddenly it becomes not a handful in terms of having to keep it under control, but there is more than enough that will keep any rider satisfied. And no bike is perfect, and I can tell you now that the pegs are quite high, they're higher than the normal Panigale, and just that extra 10 mils I really struggled with. Not everyone's six foot four like me, so most people will not have a clue what I'm talking about. Check out the webpage over the next few days for all the little snippets of the video that we've taken while we've been here. Look out for more about this amazing bike in AMCN or online at amcn.com.au.